For years, the running joke has been that centering an object on a web page is hard. With modern CSS, not only is this no longer the case, but we also have options on which way we want to center the item. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the simplest ways to center an object inside of any container with just a few lines of CSS. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need the quick answer to the question. That's why I created this 10-minute training series. Be sure to check out the other 10-minute training videos in this series. Okay, so I already have a Blazor web app running, and this Blazor web app is the, the most cut-down Blazor app possible. It has no rendering, so there's no auto, there's no server-side, there's no client-side. It's just the server-side rendering, and it has, um, it has no bootstrap. It has none of the sample stuff in there. And so what I did was I even went to the, the app.css, I wiped out everything that was in there, and then just put a few CSS entries, one for body, one for container, which is empty, and one for card. On the homepage, I made a couple of modifications. You probably notice this is looks familiar, the H1, and then um, in the template, it's just H1 and then some text I put in a paragraph. But... Um, I changed the coming soon and the paragraph, but then I wrapped the whole thing in a div with a class of card. And I wrapped that whole thing with another div called the class called container. So this is the setup for our application. We want to center this card. Okay. So once we center this card, then we're going to play around with how it centers. It centered vertically, is it centered horizontally, it whether it's more than one, and so on. But let's start with the basics by looking what this looks like when it's running. And this is the, the running site. So it's just right now full width. That's not centered. That's just um, the full width, okay? Now, I'm not looking to center this text, the coming soon or the paragraph. I'm looking to center the blue box, all right? So not take the whole width, just put it in the center, okay? To do that, we go to our app.css and notice this container right here holds the card. So the container is what we're going to say we want to set a flex on. So display flex. And that sets up a flex box, which is the tool we're going to use to center our items. A flex box is a, a flexible row or column, depending on how you set it up. But by default, it's a row. And then inside that row, you can say each item where it goes. Do you want the, the items to go at the beginning, at the end, or in this case, we want to say justify content center. Okay, with those two lines of CSS, if we come back over here and hit refresh, we now have a horizontally centered div. Okay, so now our card is centered horizontally, but that's just horizontally. How do you center it vertically? Well, in order to center it vertically, we have to know, we have to say how high we want our box to be. But there is a newer thing in CSS called view height. So you can say the container itself has a height of 100 VH or view height. What that will do is it will say the container takes up the total vertical view of our, our page. And there we go. So now it's taking the, the total vertical view, but that's not really great right now because it's it's centered, yes, but it's now vertically stretching the whole way. We don't want that any more than we want it to be stretched horizontally the whole way. Not a problem because we do one more thing up here, which is to say align items center. And what this will do is it will center the items hor um, hor or vertically. I'm sorry. It'll center the line, the verticals lines so that when we come back over here, now it's centered vertically. So the, the row is, is this, this section right in the middle now because it said, hey, there's space on top and space on bottom. Instead of stretching the whole way, I'm gonna allow this row to only live in the middle. Now we have a centered div. And in fact, if I were to, to play around, notice it always stays in the center no matter how big or small the page gets. 
But you may say, Tim, that's great for one item, which that works great for a coming soon page with an overlay or something like that. But what if I wanted to have two divs that were in the middle? Well, that's not a problem. We can come back over here to our homepage and just copy this card and paste it. And I come back over here to our CSS. They're centered in the page. So now the two of them will stay in the center side by side, but notice they'll stay in the center regardless of how the page moves. Okay. But maybe you say, Tim, I, that's not what I wanted. I wanted them on top of each other, not side by side. Well, that's not a problem either. Let's come back over to our app.css. And for the display flex, we want to set the direction. So flex direction. And we're going to say this is a column instead of a row. Remember by default, it's a row. I save that. I come back over here. Now they're in a row, which means they're uh, I'm sorry, column, so they're on top of each other, but again, still centered. So now I can stack two. But right now we're doing the whole page, and that may be what you want is centered inside the whole page. It's a pretty common thing to do for, again, things like a coming soon page where you have me a cool background and then center in the middle, a coming soon paragraph with, you know, a sign up form or something like that. You could do all that inside of that div. Notice I'm not actually changing anything to do with the card, okay? This, this card right here, I'm not changing any of the CSS. I'm just changing the CSS of the container. So what if we decide we want to center inside of something else, okay? So let's get rid of one of our cards. So we're back down as to one card and we'll save that. And again, that's what it looks like, but we want to change this so it's not the entire page. Right now, it's that view height is the entire page. We don't want that, so we, we take that off. And if we do that, well, then we go back to the top, right? So yes, but what if we're inside of an element? Maybe we're inside of a, a, an apparent element that has some size to it, okay? So let's do that. Let's set up a parent element. So div class equals parent. And we'll take this closing div and cut it out there and put it down below. So now the container is inside of a parent, right? And the parent, let's set up the parent in CSS to say that the height is uh, 500 pixels. Now we're just simulating that the parent might be, have a paragraph in it that's tall or something like that. But with that, now that we have a parent, we can say that the container has a height instead of being 100 view height or something similar, we can say inherit, which will inherit from its parent, which means now we come back over here, it's centering inside a parent. Now it's hard to see, so let's do this. Let's come back over our CSS and we're going to say star, basically everything is going to get a border on it. One pixel, uh, solid red. So this is this kind of a, a CSS trick to show you where everything is. Now notice that this big bold outline right here, that's our parent and then also our container. Their container fits inside the parent. So if we didn't do this, if we had not do the height equals inherit, we save that. Notice it's the container all comes down to here, the parent does, but the container is only the, this top portion. That's all it needs. So by setting the, whoops, by setting the um, height equals inherit, we can live with inside this container, however big it is, or parent, however big it is. So that's how you can center a div. That's how you can stack divs. That's how you can have two divs side by side. You can do this with any type of, of uh, HTML element like images or anything else. This is just one way to center a item in HTML, but it's a really powerful one and one you can use very easily and nest it even in your HTML. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. And as always, I am Tim Corey.